They have no pride in calling themselves uh, members of their country. They hate nothing more than to live, uh, and they, they, they feel embarrassed even to say, I'm an Egyptian, or, 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 or I'm an Algerian, or I'm a Moroccan. Uh, there's no sense of pride and there's nothing to be proud about because of the condition uh, that they are in. Uh, they're some of the worst countries to live in. Uh, when you look at a map, you'll find the whole Earth, the whole planet is green except for this area. Uh, that's uh, a deserted desert um, that's filled with suffering. Nothing uh, good grows out of it. The plants don't even want to grow there. Uh, it's hot like like the hellfire is hot. It's, uh, it's uh, a place of suffering and torment to that people are seeking to escape, escape it, just like they're trying to escape from hellfire in the hereafter. Uh, the, the people of hell, like they're trying to escape from hellfire and they're begging anybody to help them out from the people of paradise. short, the scholars are the disease, the plague, uh, the virus, the bacteria, the nastiness uh, that is, uh, um, you know, infecting the Muslim mind, and uh, uh, all of them are bad, all of them. Uh, anyone who's good needs to take off the turban and declare themselves innocent of the tyrants that are ruling and of the rest of the uh, the the, uh, the Muslim institutions and, and, and scholarly body, um, or else they're guilty of association. And anybody who is silent is is accepting of that. And I invite the Muslims to rise up and to begin to ignore. The Muslims should not go uh, to prayer anymore in any masjid because the masjids, according to the Prophet Muhammad in the end times would be empty of guidance. So there's no point of going there anymore. Um, in fact, they should burn down these masjids and, and, and seek to um, use them, you know, as housing facilities for the poor. Um, they should not donate any more to any of these uh, any of these uh, Islamic organizations that is uh, ripping people off and stealing in the name of Imam Al Hussein or in the name of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi And instead, they should use their money to educate the poor and to build hospitals for the poor and to uh, house the poor in the Middle East and, and North uh, North Africa. They should stop going to Hajj you know, because uh, this is not pilgrimage. This is not the pilgrimage that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi would have ever approved of. If Um, so the religion of Islam, as you know, it was a religion that was brought by the Prophet Muhammad yeah. to the region of Arabia. You'll find Muslim nations opening up its doors to Syrian refugees, nor do you find the refugees even wanting to go to countries right. like this. They're trying to go into European countries where they would rather live amongst non-believers than to live amongst their own fellow believing Muslims.
that is these Christian countries that are advanced, these Christian countries that have freedoms, freedom of religion, freedom of, of speech, uh, freedom uh, to do anything that you want to do. Uh, they're the most technologically advanced countries. Um, they're the countries that are supporting the rest of the world financially during different financial aid programs. You've Them, this is their condition. They're, they're countries that produce nothing uh, and contribute nothing towards humanity. Uh, they're anti-humanity. They're countries that hate human beings. Uh, they're countries that are not fit even for animals to live in. And